what's up guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is this green smoky i love that i created and i also have a video on this hair how i achieved these curls which will be coming very very soon so if you want to see how i created this awesome look i can't stop looking at myself in the mirror dang be sure to keep watching and definitely drop me a comment below to let me know if you will try this look, if you try out any of the products that I used in this video. And without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is prime my face and I am using this right here. This is based on Perfect Pro by Rebel London. And I'm just going to start by putting that all in my T-zone. And then working it into the rest of my face. So the next thing that I'm going to do is color correct. And I'm just going to put that all around my mouth really I have dark, dark areas. I'm just gonna apply my concealer over where I put my orange red. Today I'm trying out a new foundation, and this foundation that I'm trying is the Black Opal True Color Liquid Foundation. This shade that I'm using is Nutmeg. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put that. The only thing with this is it looks a tad bit, just a tiny bit orange. This let's talk about this coverage. Let's talk about this coverage. Man! Could be done right now that I don't need to do anything else. I could do my eyes and just go. Okay, I'm going to trail a new concealer. I have this concealer for a little while, but I've never used it. It's just been sitting there in my on my makeup show. And it is the Morphe Morph Brushes Concealer Palette. So this is it here. And you can see that it's used, but what I did was I swatched them. So yeah. So I'm just gonna go in with this color right here. So far I'm making it on. But it's going on. It's really smooth. And back with my deep blender again. I'm gonna go in and blend out. Um, I've seen this product and I wanted to try it out but I was a little scared because it's white but this is the LA Girl Pro powder and this it says translucent for all skin tone so we are definitely gonna try that out right now and bake with it okay now my favorite part we are going to go on to eyes this is what you all came here for okay so the palette that i'm going to be using for this eyeshadow look is the fifth edition 120 color palette eyeshadow by bh cosmetics along with the marquee 35b palette right here as you see and i'm going to do that and create the fiercest green smoky eye you have ever seen. So using the same shade that I used to highlight, I'm just priming my eyes. And priming your eyes, it creates a foundation 
for your eyeshadows so that they become more pigmented. What I normally do after I prime my eyes is I set the I set them so I'm going to go back with my beauty blender and grab some of that color that I'm using today and just go ahead and pat that all over it. What I'm going to use is a fluffy brush. This is my more EM 2 brush. This is it here. Nice and fluffy. We're going to use this color right here to begin. We're just going to apply that to the upper crease of our eye like so. I love, I love, I love how these orange hues peek through your eyeshadow. So just blend them bend. Now play a little bit more and a little bit more. So what I'm gonna use right now is my Mikasa Beauty E310 brush. And I'm gonna grab this shade right here and I'm just gonna get that all over my brush and then I'm gonna go ahead and deepen my crease. So we're not seeing it that much yet, but the reason why is because I only picked up a little bit because I find that it's easier to build on it as opposed to if I put on too much and then I have to take away. So go back in as many times as you need to in order to deepen it. As you can see, we're getting that gradient effect. Yes! Yes, so that's that's the the whole show by that I was trying to create. Yes, girl. Yes. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do that to the other eye and then we're we get into the green, we get into the green. For this look, blendability is key. It is key. So what what I'm gonna do next is grab my Morphe M506 brush. This is what it looks like here. It's just like a little tiny blended brush and just go back in and just blend those two colors a little bit so that we have a really really seamless look up next what i'm doing is i'm gonna grab this eyeliner by Revlon, and this is their color stay eyeliner and this is in the shade 206 jade and i'm just gonna apply that all over my lid and as you can see it's super pretty so remember I said blendability is key. So what we're gonna do is go back in with the last brush that we use with and blend, blend, blend here. Excuse me, this palette as well. He went to work also, his bedroom as well. So grab in a, a shade of brush, a flat brush, anything that you can use to pat on the shadow with. We're gonna grab this shade right here. And I love Morphe palettes because their their eyeshadows are always like super super pigmented, and we're gonna go ahead and pat that right over where we apply the base. Okay, blendability is key. Let's go back and blend one more time. Hold that brush like too tight and like stabbing yourself. So, but I just put it at the very end. So I'm gonna go back in with my brown shade and just to deepen my crease one more time with my same pointed brush. So we're gonna line our working line with white eyeshadow today, and this is from LA Girl, and this is their Glide Gel Liner. I kind of feel as though y'all gonna love this brush go back with that green shade and the brown shade that we used to deepen and we are going to smoke out the lower lash line. So what I'm going to do next is take my next with and just go 
right in the center, create a something. So next what I'm going to use is my color pop Nikki and this is Mess around, but I'm going to take this glittery nude smash one with gloss and apply that. So guys, that's finished look. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Remember to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat if you're not already following me there. And I will definitely see you in my next video. So for now, toodles. Bye.